NBC Connecticut investigates has an exclusive look into the extreme measures some cities must take to try to collect local car taxes. The taxes raise more than $900 million per year to support services in our cities and towns. Local and state leaders say there has to be a better way of making sure everyone pays their fair share. Chief investigative reporter Lynn Bestoff takes a closer look at the problem and also has a sneak peek at one possible solution. Whether people use an out-of-state plate or another method to avoid local car taxes in Connecticut, towns and cities are losing out on millions of dollars in revenue which pay for local services. How to ensure compliance remains a big challenge. You guys from Maine? Drive the streets of Connecticut and you see a lot of people sporting license plates from states with low or no car taxes, like Maine, New York, and New Jersey. Drivers we talked with, while we do not know if they live in Connecticut and use out-of-state plates, had a variety of responses when we asked about them. You from around here? Um, yeah. Yeah? What's, what? what's the deal with the out-of-state plates? We're doing a story about out-of-state plates. Oh, this is not my car. You from around here? Am I from around here? Yeah. yeah. What's the deal with the Jersey plates? I don't know. What's going on with them? No, we're doing a story about folks who live around here with out-of-state plates. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Local leaders tell us when it comes to out-of-state plates in their communities, they're not sure what to believe. In the city of Stanford, you know, we have a lot of plates from New York City, um, and they're guests, or, or are they? That said, right now, most Connecticut towns and cities have about a 95% success rate collecting the car tax. Local leaders say this equates to millions of dollars of uncollected revenue. It puts a burden on the people who pay. If you do not pay your property tax, your neighbor does. If they can't afford to pay their taxes, but yet they need to go to, to work to put food on the table, what choice do they have? Several local governments in Connecticut have signed up a company called Municipal Tax Services. Current active cases are lined up here in these file cabinets. MTS sends its employees out with license plate readers to get the data and gets half the money it recovers from car tax evaders. You kind of get the inkling right off the bat that, no, they're, they're trying to cheat the system. While this helps municipalities, the bottom line is tax collection offices throughout the state spend a huge chunk of time on it. It's very difficult to enforce on a local level uh, as to where somebody actually keeps their car uh, six months in a day. State Senator Bob Duff was behind legislation setting up a task force to solve this issue once and for all. You know, the fines will range up to $1,000. So Among those appointed to the panel, veteran Norwalk police officer Tom Ronzinski. He says patrols dedicated to finding violations could work, but taxpayers would foot the bill for that. Police officers now are overtaxed with a lot of the work that they have to do and adding that to their you know one more thing is going to be problematic of course there's also the question of lowering or getting rid of the car tax the question is how would you replace all the revenue that it generates senator duff however says he would support such a move len bestoff nbc connecticut investigates